His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a Royal Decree 12 for this year, designating the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism as the minister tasked to assume the stakeholders' uh, judicial in or jurisdiction in Bahrain Borsa BSC. Companies stipulated in the company's article and memorandum of association. The Prime Minister and each one of the ministers, according to his domain, will implement this decree effective from the date of its issuance, which will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, on the occasion of Kuwait's National Day. His Majesty the King wished the Emir of Kuwait continued health and happiness and to the people of Kuwait further progress and prosperity. He commended the deep rooted historic relations between the two countries and joint cooperation in various fields. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued three edicts appointing directors in the Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Ministry, the Ministry of Health and the Tender Board. Edict 7 for this year stipulated the appointment of Khad Muhammad Hassan Muhammad as Director of Human and Financial Resources Directorate in the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment. Edict 8 stipulated the appointment of Intisar Nasser Najim Rmethi as Director of Human Resources Directorate in the Ministry of Health. And Edict 9 stipulated the appointment of Ahmed Abdullah as Sadun as Director of Technical Affairs in the Tender Board. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, marking his country's national day. His Royal Highness wished His Highness Sheikh Sabah good health and happiness and further progress and prosperity for Kuwait and its people under his wise leadership. He also praised the close and deep rooted relations linking the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent similar cables to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah and the Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Jabir Al Mbarak Al Hamad Al Sabah on the national occasion. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, marking his country's national day. His Royal Highness wished His Highness the Emir of Kuwait good health and happiness and to Kuwait and its people for their progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. He also praised the close and deep-rooted relations linking the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent similar cables to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah and to the Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Jabir Al Mbarak Al Hamad Al Sabah on this national occasion. Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and Under Secretary of Kuwait and National Guard, Lieutenant General Hisham Al Rifai, witnessed today the closing of the joint military exercise between Bahrain and Kuwait's National Guard to combat terrorism. Present were Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa and senior officers of Bahrain Defense Force and Kuwait's National Guard. Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa commended the cooperation between the two armed forces throughout the military drill, which reflects the deep rooted relations between the two countries. He conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and his pride in the high level of efficiency in applying theoretical and field practices in regard to fighting terrorism, as well as the ability to use modern weapons and equipment. He hailed bilateral relations and joint military cooperation in particular, which was further enhanced by the joint cooperation protocol and exchanging expertise and visits between the two sides. Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa expressed thanks and appreciation to the Under Secretary of Kuwait's National Guard for his views and for facilitating the success of the exercise which serves the military protocol between the two countries. For his part, Lieutenant General Hisham Al Rifai affirmed that the drill included several field practices of military skills to combat terrorism, highlighting the efficiency and professionalism of the affiliates of both bodies.
Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Haban Al Khalifa received today Secretary General of the Royal Charity Organization, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid Amin, and a delegation from the Real Madrid Academy. His Highness was briefed on the Academy programs and its achievements, praising their humanitarian initiatives in supporting orphans and widows, saying that these kinds of initiatives fall within the social partnership for charity. He also lauded the academy's role in nurturing students' skills and promotion or promoting education and moral values through the game of football. RCO Secretary General expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his continuous support and directives and providing all the facilities needed to provide orphans and all the people in need with high living standards. RCO signed a renewal agreement with Real Madrid Academy and it comes as part of the organization's strategy to provide comprehensive care for its employees from the point of living, health, education and sports. The speakers of the representatives and Shura councils, Mr. Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah and Ali Saleh Al Saleh, participated in the concluding session of the first Arab Parliament Speakers Conference that was held at the Arab League headquarters in Cairo, Egypt. In their final statement, the Cairo Declaration, the Arab Parliament Speakers rejected foreign interventions in the internal affairs of Arab countries as they announced their commitment to active cooperation to implement the Arab Summit decisions. The declaration also also voiced the speaker's commitment to work on achieving economic integration, adapting mechanisms and institutional structures to keep pace with new developments in addition to achieving a rapprochement between the government's uh, parliaments and the Arab people. For his part, Mr. Asal has asserted the importance of the recommendations included in the Cairo Declaration. He added that the declaration stressed the necessity of official and parliamentary unified efforts and parliament's contributions in setting the policies that can face the current developments through setting the mechanisms that can preserve the sovereignty, unity and security of the Arab nations. Mr. Al Saleh also welcomed the adoption of the Cairo Declaration to his recommendations of calling in the Arab parliaments to agree on the external and main system of the Arab Court for Human Rights regarding terrorism and combating money laundering for funding terrorism. Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh received Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi on the sidelines of the first conference of Arab Parliament speakers, which was held in Cairo. Al Saleh lauded, lauded the vital regional role of Egypt and highlighted the deep ties between Egypt and Bahrain, which are based on mutual cooperation and coordination. Al Saleh praised His Majesty the Kings and President Al Sisi's continuous support to enhancing bilateral ties, noting that this led to the distinguished level of relations linking the two brotherly countries. The Shura speaker also expressed Bahrain's appreciation to Egypt's continuous support toward the kingdom.